Hello all. Welcome to episode 6 of the Dinner from the Dining Car series. Today, in honor of the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday, we're going to be making the Pennsylvania Railroad's sweet potato and sausage stuffing. Uh, no, I'm not going to make a turkey. If you people want a turkey, uh, the best suggestion I know of, I've used it for years and it's never failed, get a Reynolds cooking bag and follow the directions perfectly and you'll get a perfect turkey. It's just that simple. But today, we're, because we're not cooking it in a turkey, we'll be baking a sweet potato and sausage stuffing. What you need for that is as follows. You need a can of sweet potatoes. This is a 29 ounce can, a little over a pound, pound and a third. And when you get these out of the can, you're going to mash them in a huge mixing bowl. You're also going to need a pound of ground sausage. This particular one's Jimmy Dean, but you can use another brand if you want to. You're going to need some fresh parsley. Well, I have an advantage there. Uh, I have a, an herb garden, so I've already pre-picked some parsley and rinsed it and let it dry. You're going to end up needing about two tablespoons of that. You're going to be need needing a tablespoon of paprika. This will add a lot of flavor to the stuffing. You're also going to need a medium onion, and you're going to dice that really, really fine. I would suggest doing what I'm going to do, put it in a chopper. You're also going to need a can of breadcrumbs. Now, this can of breadcrumbs is eight ounces. You're going to be using basically the whole can, because the recipe calls for four cups. This will just about wipe out this can. And then you're going to need celery. You'll just need a few stalks, and it's also going to be chopped very fine, so I suggest using a chopper. That's it for the ingredients. Uh, you'll need also a really large mixing bowl and a large skillet because, well, we have to basically kind of pre-cook this, pre-cook the sausage and the onions and celery in the skillet and then mix it. You'll see it when we start the recipe. Anyway, let me get the last of everything we need together and we'll be back to start this off. Oh, one other thing, sorry, you're going to need a baking pan. Uh, because this is gonna because we're not making cooking it in a turkey we're baking it in an oven you're going to need a baking pan because once we get all this mixed we're going to put it in that baking pan so anyway like I said let me get everything started and I'll be right back see you in a few minutes okay we've got everything sort of prepped if you come here and take a look We've got the celery chopped up fine, the onions chopped up fine, the parsley chopped up fine, and there's your sweet potatoes. Now what we have to do is we have to start cooking the cooking the I've washed my hands. <laughs> You got background. Um, just low yeah, it's Judy. Really low. We need to start cooking the sausage. Just breaking it up. Okay, come on. Come on. I'm doing fine. Kevin's father is a vegan cameraman because I ate too much. I tried to get a couple of It may take a little bit just to get it. Oh, it's sizzling already. Excellent. All right, that takes care of the sausage. Make sure we get it all. Wash my hands. Dry my hands. Hands are wet. It's kind of hard to hold the spoon. 
And you just start browning this. Breaking it up as you go, because you're going to want it pretty broken up. While that's browning, and it might take a little while to do, we're going to go over here, behind me, and we're going to grab a potato masher, and we're going to mash the sweet potatoes. Now normally I would do this in a food processor, but I'm not really interested in liquefying them. So as you can see, even with a hand masher, they do mash up pretty nicely. with not too much fat in it. That's kind of excellent. And this may take a few more minutes to, to brown up. When this is done, we take it out of the pan and set it aside. And then we're going to, in the same pan, we're going to cook up the celery and onions until they are pretty well cooked. That's starting to look nice, but we want it completely brown. I don't want to add any oil to this because I don't want to add any fat that doesn't have to be there. The sausage should have enough of its own fat content to fry up really nice. Can you smell that? Delicious. Smells good in here already. Okay, now that that's more or less browned up, and by the way, we have set the oven for 275 because when this is all mixed together, it's got to go in a baking pan in the oven. So let me just take this out of here for right now. I'm going to add it to the potatoes, because it's got to go in there anyway. All right, back over here. We toss in... Excuse me. Mm -hmm, sorry. About three tablespoons of chopped onion. Oh, there's a tablespoon out right there. Oh, that's going to sizzle up nicely. And then a cup. A cup of the chopped celery. sausage, but you're basically just going to cook this enough to make the onions a little translucent and soften them up a little bit. Really yummy. Well, that's the onions and the celery mm, cooking together. Yeah. 
this is gonna this is gonna be really good stuff I think all right now these don't take too long to cook up yeah they are picking they're picking up a little moisture from the bottom of the pan which is what you want to see and that's just about what we want right there perfect so you're gonna add this to your big mixing bowl Okay, now comes the fun part. Set that aside. Now we need four cups of, oh, two cups breadcrumbs. Well, I'm going to make a little more. So we basically, like I said in the in, the intro earlier, we were basically going to use this whole package of breadcrumbs. We did. All right, and to that, we're going to add the few tablespoons of fresh parsley. And... That wasn't supposed to happen, <laughs> and that won't fit in there either. Okay. Good way to go. You ever have one of those days, guys? Okay. Ah. So you need a couple of teaspoons of paprika. Now, you also want to shake a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Just crack a little salt and crack a little fresh pepper. And then you go to the kitchen, the sink, and you wash your hands because you have to mix this stuff by hand. You can use a spoon, but it won't be as well mixed. So we're just gonna wash our hands really well. And in these days of COVID-19, that's a good thing to do anyway. Okay, dry them. Now for the fun and messy part. You come in here and you just mix all this. You get it all mixed in there. Hey, that's warm. <laughs> that sausage is hot, guys. So, maybe I should have let this cool a little bit before I did this because it's hot. Oh, you smell it already? Yes. Smells fabulous. Looks pretty good, too. Just get in there and mix it. Now, sitting on the stove right now, we have a greased baking pan. And we're going to take this. Oh, that sure smells good. It does. <laughs> that smells wonderful. And we're going to come over to the baking pan. We're going to plop it in there. Scrape it all out of here because I don't want to miss any of this yumminess. Then you're just going to want to spread it over the pan. If this tastes as good as it smells, boy, you're going to get yourself a nice treat to take home. Okay, there you go. Now we have a 275 degree oven. This has to go in for two hours because we want to make sure that uh, sausage, get off of me parsley, that sausage is pretty well cooked. So. In we go. And that's it for getting it in the oven. We'll see you in a couple hours. See what it tastes like and looks like. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Good call. Something I forgot. To moisten.
moisten it up. Oh, yes. I'm going to take, if I can get the wrapper off, some, just some. This is about two-thirds of a stick of butter. And we're just going to plop pieces of butter all over this bad boy and let it melt into the stuffing. Now, you can use margarine, but uh, why use margarine when you can use butter? That's what I always say. A kitchen, a kitchen isn't a kitchen without butter. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you, you're going to argue that? No. <laughs> butter goes with everything here, guys. Oh, shoot, a little too thin there. Yeah, this is just going to go on there and melt in and get all yummy. Oh man, it's sticking mm. to the knife. <laughs> Good thing I washed my hands, huh? Just kind of, kind of pull it all around here. Get it off my hands. There we go. One more time over here. Now, let's get it in the oven. Like I said, 275 degrees for two hours because you can bake this in a turkey this is this is enough stuffing for about a 18 to 20 pound bird if you want to cook it in your turkey go for it uh, but you'd have to put it in there right at the start because this takes a while to cook and if your turkey's in the oven for three three and a half hours that'll be plenty so you won't get your guests sick but because I'm not making a turkey tonight we're making it in the oven in a pan it should still be yummy so that's it until it comes out of the oven and when it does we'll see you then here it is two hours later we're about out about to get this stuffing out of the oven Oh my God, it smells wonderful already. Oh, look at this. Let's see it. You may want to come over there and take a look. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yes, it didn't dry out. It's still nice and fluffy and yummy. And I'm about to take the camera from my camera lady. And, uh... Let her grab a spoon and have a taste. Yay! Oh, you didn't don't camera me. No, I didn't. <laughs> Is this a spoon? Yeah, it's a spoon. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> it's juicy and tender. That is to die for. Mm. Okay, well now I'll hand this back to her. Thank you. Paul. So she can... Thank you for filming me in my worst... Where? <laughs> oh, I didn't. I don't think I filmed you at all. Okay, good. Anyway, folks, there it is, out of the oven, oh. and the smell in here. Sorry about is that. It's insane, and yes, it does taste. Yeah. Oh. Really good. Ooh. It is really good. Mm. Oh, that is worth cooking. Mm. Anyway, folks. Sorry, I'm trying to eat a sample here. There you have it. It's out, of, it's out of the oven. All we need to do now is cook our pork chops and our carrots, and we'll be ready to eat. Uh, again, thanks, Fauna, for the camera work. I'll make sure you get credit for it and a good portion of the stuffing. Yay! <laughs> in, <laughs> in the meanwhile, good night, folks, and enjoy.